What's going on guys? Today we are building the ultimate run and gun western hunting archery setup. This is the Hoyt VTM and uh, I'm at my favorite place and with some dudes that know way more about archery than I do. And they're going to help me get this thing set up to hopefully kill my biggest mule deer ever this summer. So here with Cody and Cody and uh, we're going to get this bow built. So yeah, let's get rolling. Let's do it. So on this bow this year guys, I'm running a lot of Hoyt accessories and what I love most about this is how they are built specifically for this bow and they work seamlessly so we'll kind of go over the setup on some of these things and why I chose them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage of the build of this bow. I wanted to do a more in-depth overview of each piece of gear that I put on this bow, specifically for archery mule deer in the high country. So this is a Hoyt VTM. It's a 31, 70 pound limbs. I got the dialed archery Arxos sight with the Picatinny uh, mount. I have the Hoyt one piece carbon fiber quiver. I have a Hoyt front stabilizer, the ghost sticks, a Hoyt backer bar, and I'm shooting the Hoyt integrate rest. So this whole bow, I don't know if you can tell, is extremely streamlined. I wanted this bow to be as compact and streamlined as possible. So as I'm crawling in on a stock or carrying it on and off my back, it's super sleek and easy to navigate. Normally I'm a fan of a heavy arrow with a heavy front of center, but this year, this whole bow is built around hunting mule deer. So I went with a 435 grain, four millimeter arrow. I'm gonna be shooting a mechanical broadhead for mule deer. So this bow is super flat shooting. I have a lot of clearance with this Arxo sight. That's one of the benefits to the dialed archery scope is clearance at longer distances. So I'm gonna shoot a few arrows for you guys, just getting the sight tape set up. We'll shoot at about 40 yards. And you can kind of see how this bow is shooting. It's shooting super sweet. And I'm extremely excited to get this thing out in the field in August. So one of the main reasons I took the grip off of this bow and did hockey tape, as you guys saw, is I have a tendency to kind of roll my wrist. So this was the most repeatable paper tune I could get. Shooting this UltraView thumb button release. So I'm going with the three vein. These are the AAE hybrids and these are the custom hush ones. I'm not gonna need a four fletch this year to shoot these mechanicals. So, like I said, 40 yards, shooting this bow is just lights out, shoots like a dream, tune like a dream.
I'm currently in the middle of knock tuning my top six arrows and getting them set in my quiver for the season. If you guys have any questions about this archery setup, I will personally answer any bow related questions in the comment box below. But let's roll straight into Casey and Logan's portion of this vlog. It's part two of their South Dakota turkey hunt and we will see you guys next week. So we kind of split up teams today. A bunch of new uh, guys showed up to camp last night. So kind of split everybody up, but it's uh, me and Tyler from Weatherby, Toby Shaw, Keith, and then Loki. So I've killed a bird with my bow, which that's what I came to do. Loki's killed one with a shotgun, and then Tyler's got two tags. So these guys roosted a bunch of birds last night. And, uh, they said they roosted two different flocks. And uh, we showed up and immediately found the one roost tree. There was probably 20, 25 birds in it. They just flew down, so we're making a move. We're gonna get in close and try to get Loki a bird with his bow and then clean up with the shotguns with the uh, Tyler brought some 18 eyes down from Weatherby, so. This is only day two, but uh, it's go time now. We gotta get some birds killed. And that's a giant snowbank. We just walked down, just so you know. T-Tai, Byron, Casey behind the camera, we just spotted some birds just off this, right? Yeah. We had a slow freaking day. That's about to change. Come on. It can happen just like that.
My freaking hand slipped off my grip like right when I was shooting that first time. Did we airball that first one? Yeah. I heard a lot of talk out of this guy about, I'll shoot a Jake. <laughs> I'll shoot a Jake. I was letting you get the footy, dude. They were right there. The first shot, like right when I was pulling the trigger, my hand slipped off the thing and it went off. I was like, shit. I jumped up. Boom! Let's go. I better shoot it off my feet. Well, we just hammered a Jake. I'm tagged out. Oh. In the Dakotas. They were yeah, hammering, dude. They were. Oh, yeah. I almost said bugling. Goblin right here, <laughs> goblin. Then it was quiet. Ken's like, I'm going to hit it again. Dude, it sounded like one giant tom, yeah, but absolutely. really it was three Jakes. Yeah. All goblin at Power the same Jakes, time. Power Jakes, for sure. Freaking Jake down right there. Let's freaking go. That was fun. That was fun. That was a good one. That was so a good one. It's so hard for me to be like, no, I'm going to pass the Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Especially um, when you put on a show like that. Yeah. yeah. That is just awesome. Sweet. You know. Gobble like a man, get shot in the face like a man. <laughs> Say back on back on old Delilah, old S3. What? What's You guys, it's our last two raw, last day. There's been a lot of different types of cameras filming filming these uh these turkey adventures. We're back Can I on tell the, you the S3 camera today. That hasn't been filming adventures. Where are you at? Logan's camera. <laughs> this is the first day you've picked up your camera. Yeah. Good work. I've had you this. His name is did. his name is Nate Dog, goes, but I've been calling him Billy. I'm the drone. And listen to this. These guys have the freaking setup because it's pretty cool just having a Billy follow you around and film you all day. I got a little comfortable, but A7S is back in the hands. What's the plan today, Big Topes? Well, we're heading up here to the north, and uh, we're doing a little recon because when pressure gets put on these turkeys, they start scattering, and we're going up to some mule deer. It's actually mule deer country, but there's a big creek bottom that comes through there. And, Every once in a while, there's a nice flock of birds in there, so we're gonna go see if we can find that flock, and then give them the onion. Heck yeah. You see a turkey? Well, I think I saw dots in a tree here. I could be wrong. mission. This is a spot that they've found turkeys in in the past. Not consistently, but once these turkeys start getting pushed around, they'll find them in here. So we just kind of almost a Hail Mary, if you will. It's our last morning hunting, so we're with Tobe and Shawshank and Redemption. And uh, we came in and sure enough, I spotted four right in the bottom and they're just hammering. Blah, 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 like that. That's how they hammer. Blah, 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 blah. And they don't stop, they just keep hammering. And no one cares, they just work harder. So, we're gonna go shoot turkey in the face, me and Tyler, with our weather be 18 eyes. I told you, no one cares, just work harder. <laughs> 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 
I love when you turn around and say, they're right here. We're gonna kill them right here. <laughs> Woo! Dang, dude. Heck yeah. Look at that bird. Heck yeah, dude. I was turning around, I go, when Tobe gets serious, it's it's time. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I got it. <laughs> I was trying to tell him, I was like, wait, 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 Logan's coming up. I was trying to hang back to like not spook him. And then you guys were standing. <laughs> Dude, they must have come across the creek. I thought when I originally saw them, I thought they were across the creek, but they were just working their way up. Oh man. Two big old toms, yeah, huh? Shakes here. <laughs> well that was good. That is that's that's what you come here for. Was that pretty fun? <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. So far, recon missions going off great. We can go. We can go on recon missions anytime. That was <laughs> <So> good. <laughs> That's how you want it to happen. The truck's just right over that I little hill. I say this, man. This is hunting, in my opinion. You work your butt off for an opportunity, right? Like you go and work to, to hopefully put yourself in a position to have the best opportunity, and that's what that was. Like, the best opportunity we've had in the last three days was that. Yeah, and we had, I mean, we went on, you know, it's like five or six, and we just got to keep going. Yeah. And we said it a couple times, like, hey, when one doesn't work out, your percentages just went up. Yeah.